Uh, now, this was a movie I really liked. Um, um, it's The Death of Stalin. You know, all of you can kiss my Russian ass. Um, the latest uh, political satire um, by Armando Iannucci, who is known for, in America, he's probably best known for Veep, the satirical TV series about the Vice President of the United States. Um, in Britain, he's known for The Thick of It, another political satire. Um, and now he's, he's, he's directed a, a full-length feature uh, concerning the aftermath of Joseph Stalin dying. Stalin's dead. He's dead. Stalin is dead! Oh, my God. Our general secretary is lying in a puddle of indignity. Yeah, he's feeling unwell, um, clearly. When he was, he'd been dictator of, uh, of the Soviet Union. Um, for decades, and uh, and it it collects an array of uh, really really skilled British actors, comedians, playing the roles of all of Stalin's cohorts who immediately afterwards start um, attempting to to um, to get in control of the of the country. Uh, Simon Russell Beale uh, uh, plays Beria. Uh, uh, Steve Buscemi plays uh, Nikita Khrushchev, uh, and then there's this, there's a, there's a whole array of people. Um, there's uh, Paul Whitehouse. Uh, there's Michael Palin, um, and and. It, it is a it is a really really funny, uh, although uh, bitingly funny, really uncomfortably funny uh, treatise on how uh, dictatorship works and how an autocratic uh, superpower uh, works. Uh, a lot of the things that happen in it seem too absurd to be true, but a lot of them actually happened obviously there's been uh, there's embellishment in terms of what's going on to actually make it funnier but it, it it's it, it it has so many uh funny moments of of fucking wordplay oh is it of it's not like rendered horse you're burning just out. how these machiavellian God. political machinations happen um and then have to report this conversation threatening to do harm or obstruct any member of the Presidium in the process of looking at your fucking face. <laughs> Fuck. I fuck Germany. I think I can take a flesh lump in a fucking waistcoat. Very, very well worth your time if you're a fan of Iannucci. And I think that even those who don't know his previous work, I think, will find this funny. A lot of the fun, uh, a lot of the humor is very... Uh, like I said, very biting, very dry, very wry, very uh, not sort of laugh out loud funny necessarily, but but very intelligently crafted and 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 chilling in their implications. Um, I think it's a very very good film, and I, I'm I'm. Uh, it's likely that it'll end up in my top ten list for the whole year, um, and. And if you have a, if you get a chance to see it, see it. It's not necessarily a movie that that necessarily needs a, a, to be seen in the cinema. Uh, I think it will it will work quite well on the TV screen as well. But obviously, I always recommend going to see p uh, films in cinema because you get that 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 immersion uh, into the subject matter. Um, but yeah, a uh, uh, definite, definite recommendation for uh, for the death of Stalin.